Good morning, friends. This is Ayad Shruti from PD Tutorials Office Group. I welcome you all in today's webinar class. Today, I will discuss about when and how to use templates in PTEA exam. Before I uh, describe these things in detail, I will uh, discuss with you people what is the basic meaning of template. And before that, we all know that uh, in the market, on many YouTube videos, uh, on many uh, websites of uh, PTE, so many templates are circulated. And uh, some people, they claim that you will get 79 plus by using this template. You will get surely and surely 65 plus by using this template and all the things. But I would say, OK, fine. We can use the template for 65 each or sometimes for 79 each. But usage of one thing that we are going to use in our exam, that is really very important how we are going to use that thing in our lecture, in our speech, in our writing. That is very, very important part. And no one tells this thing. They only just show you the screen that, OK, fine. This is the template that will give you this score of 65 each. How can someone claim over there that by using uh, some uh, words already made already formatted words and software will give you the score for those words because there is very big reason behind it number one pearson test of english is not like lds even in lds exam also if you use template in essays Examiner can easily find this thing and they will deduct your score. And here people say that this is just a software. Software doesn't know uh, how uh, I'm going to write and what words are from template. So let's uh, use the template. This is just a cat race basically that would I, I would say. But I'm not even uh, denying this fact that you should never use the uh, template. Rather, we can use and we may use, or uh, sometimes I would say, you should use for some tasks. But how to use it, that is really very important. And today, I'm going to show you how to use a template and what are the key factors behind using one template which will help you to use it in a in the best way rather so let's start first i'll explain what is the basic meaning of template i have seen many people they just uh, when they transfer themselves from ielts to pd and they see the word uh, from here in their template template and they start finding the meaning of template. What is the meaning of template, basically? So let's check it. What is template? What will happen in a template, most of the text is pre-formatted and does not vary according to the topic. This thing we all should know about template. Otherwise, its whole usage and um, how we are going to use it, that will be low. Why I'm saying this thing? For each and every set of paper in PDE exam, each task varies. You will never get the same question every time in the exam. For example, a person is uh, appearing for PTE exam for 10 times. Maybe some questions uh, will get repeated, but not every time, every person will get the same question. And if in one center, five persons are sitting, they are giving their exam, 
all those five persons will get different sets of papers and as there there are thousands of questions for pt exam then how can i use some pre formatted words for one task it means if i'm going to use one template i should be very much careful about how to use it because the text is not going to be varied otherwise my score will be less because there are so many tasks in speaking from where you people get the score of content and that will increase your not only speaking score rather it will increase your reading as well as listening score and if you are going to replace the content words by the template words then your score will be less i want to share with you people here i have seen many score cards the enabling skills are so good 80 plus but communicative skills are so less let me tell you one thing enabling skills are only and only for your speaking and for your writing but you people also need the score of reading and listening and that score is basically um taken from your speaking paper we people generally get scared from um read a lectures and describe images and for those we start using templates without even thinking that how to use it we start using it and what will happen my listening score would suffer for read a lectures i will stuck at again and again 72 73 73 74 score in listening again and again because i'm not aware how to use it second thing templates often require fillers means some blanks will be there and you need to fill those blanks by some keywords now you will be thinking that in the templates we will use some keywords and from where those keywords we will be getting the score of content i'm again not saying this thing that you should not do this thing and you will rather get the score for those fillers that you will be using as keywords fillers means you are uh, going to add um keywords at the place of blanks let me show you the screen just like this the lecture was about blank and the blank fill the keyword from the lecture just like here uh, this will be the very uh, first line uh, topic name here you can add i have written now you are saying uh, topic name that i we going to select from the lecture in the read a lecture um then definitely software will give me the score what do you people do and even i have seen also when i was practicing for pt exam um that lecture uh, template was very much famous even now also just like this the lecture was about keyword one he mentioned that keyword 2 he suggested that keyword 3 finally he deducted that keyword 4 now let me tell you one thing by writing four keywords or say six or seven keywords you will never get good score in your listening as well as in your fluency because when i be using say 5 uh, to 6 lines for read a lecture including the template and uh, by adding the keywords five or six keywords in uh, in that template i will be able to finish that template uh, that uh, paragraph five to six lines in just 
12 to 13 seconds. When we speak in 12 to 13 seconds, can I say this thing? The person was fluent. Fluency is always maintained at least when you people speak for half of the bar. That's why I usually say uh, in the group also, in the class also, uh, even in for described images where content doesn't matter, you people have to speak for 20 seconds at least, means half of the bar. At least software, let the software checks, check this thing that you people are speaking something and it is fluent. Only then it will give you the score for fluency. And never use very uh, illiterate word like mentioned, suggested in summarized spoken text. I have seen many people, they ask, ma'am, can I use the same template of written lecture for summarized spoken text? I would say no. Why? See, in written lecture, you people are speaking. And while you are speaking, Software needs three things. Number one, fluency. Number two, whatever the words you are going to speak, those words should be pronounced correctly and clearly. Number three, are you using the content from the lecture? But in summarized spoken text, other things are being judged. What those things are? First of all, you people get the score for writing from summarized spoken text. And again, you people need content score from there too. You, you will be using the keywords also. You are getting the score for vocabulary, spelling, grammar. All these things are included. Then how can I use one template that I have learned or crammed for read a lecture for some spoken text? I cannot because this is a software. It will give you the score by not only using the template. It will give you the score by when you people will use all the things as for the enabling skills. Let's move forward. In between whatever uh, you people will have questions, you can send them in the question uh, box. I will try to give their answers in the end of the lecture. Now question is, many people, uh, their target is 65 each, or rather I would say, there are more people where uh, they are aiming 79 each, means eight band each, because uh, you need more and more points to get a good score. Uh, to get PR easily in invitation as soon as possible. As I was saying, many people, their target is 65 each and some are having uh, the target uh, 79 each. I would say when 65 each the target or less because uh, study uh, going people are also there for study visa, they can use template. But for 79, Use some words from the template just to add coherence in your speech or in your writing. Now, what does the meaning of the second sentence? When I'm speaking one uh, read a lecture or I'm writing one summary spoken text, and my aim is to get 79 plus, then I would definitely speak in this way. In this lecture, the speaker was talking about blank. Now you are adding not only one keyword because your target is 79 each. You have to add group of keywords. Group of keywords, bunch of keywords is really very important to add. Now this was my first line. And after that, as I'm speaking, after that, this is what? I'm adding coherence into my lecture. 
after that he was talking about blah blah things and you people don't understand actually even if template will not be there still if you will be talking to someone in, in english you use these words after that i go there and uh, when i reach there when the speaker was talking about this he concluded this thing this is what actually this is coherence and people have given the name them as the template whenever you i if i um, let's recall that thing when we people were in school in third or fourth standard we people uh, had been given uh, story lines in between some blanks are there and you have to cook up the story this is just the same thing sometimes you have to add a uh, few words in the starting sometimes in the middle or sometimes in the end isn't it the same thing that you people are doing here for pte templates moreover when you will jot down the keywords and the problem is that in retail lecture in just 6 to 8 seconds after as the uh, audio finishes you people have to speak in just 6 to 8 seconds and then uh, it becomes a problem for us because we have jotted down only and only keywords keywords means either there uh, will be some phrases just like uh, exp uh, he did exper uh, experiment on genes you jotted down this these three words experiment on genes human genes and what should i need i need a subject and after that next few words are also there and for those next few words i need what again i need the subject and that subject will from where i will get that subject and we uh, being the power of cat race we try to follow the template actually if you will not use template unknowingly still you will be using the template because template is all about coherence so uh, suppose you people are uh, using the words like the lecture was about blank he was mentioning this thing in his lecture and after that he was uh, telling in detail about so many facts which are related to the given lecture and all these are what lines if i'm going to uh, describe one audio to each and every person who will be sitting in my class of course i'll be using these words in my uh, when i'll be speaking and let me tell you in that case you don't need to cram anything automatically naturally you will speak those words and but what we have been taught let's learn one template and because of learning the template and my main focus will be only and only cram the lines of the template cram the lines of the template what will happen in that case your main focus will not be on the content will your main focus will not be on the capturing the group of words i have seen people they speak like uh, like it was about blah 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 he was mentioning this he was telling this he, he yeah he was suggesting this thing after that he was concluding the lecture by saying these they start cramming these lines why would we need to cram anything practice overall overall will always give you the perfect score next as i said sometimes we need to use the template and i would say we are not aware what kind of audios we will be getting in exam or we will not be able to know see we are not uh, astrologers that uh, we will always have this intuition that i will get good audios in exam i got in my real exam listening audios were too bad i can't even express 
all the show 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 sounds were there sometimes background music is there and you will not be able to concentrate on the audio and in that case what would happen and if the audio is too short bad version of audio is there sometimes uh, i have i have experienced this thing that uh, in my real exam and listening module um, one audio was like three words after that gap and i was thinking maybe my microphones are not working now headphones are not working now now what i do and immediately start speaker was start speaking start was speaking again then i jotted down some keywords and after that again it was getting stuck it means so bad audios are there how would you be able to uh, tackle such kind of situation so always prepare yourself for good templates and for all those worst situations if in exam the audio is of only and only say so 30 seconds how do you cover then 30 to 35 seconds in retail lecture that you have to speak because if less time audio will be there then you will write less less keywords will be there and you will be able to finish your retail lecture say in 20 seconds 20 seconds means less keywords half of the words even 70% of the words you have been using that are not the part of the lecture so at least you have to stretch your audio and you have to stretch your writing in some spoken text how do you write more than 60 words my aim is 79 definitely i have to write at least 65 68 words in summary spoken text so that i can get good score in vocabulary in content and the more keywords i'll be using from the lecture the more score i'll be getting for listening so in that case your um, template will save you and always prepare yourself for the worst conditions also that maybe you will face in your exam no doubt we will prepare ourselves that i'm not going to use any template but what if i got too short audio in that case how would i survive how would i save myself because i have to have to speak for 30 to 35 seconds and have to write 65 67 words for some less spoken text so always learn one good template for some particular task where you can use it now the question is for which tasks i can use the template see my target is 79 plus here i'm talking about for those because 65 each if you will be using the, uh, your uh, templates that will be fine you may get still the scores i have made one template where you can use the template for uh, retail lecture and summary spoken text but you should not use template for describe images summarize written text and essays why this thing is there why partiality is there basically <laughs> yes partiality is there because different kind of scores i'll be getting from these five tasks first i'll discuss why you should not use template for describe image summarize written text and essays see for describe images there are so many types of images how can we fit one template for all so many types like bar graph and after that bar graphs are categorized into two to three further divisions uh, simple bar graph multiple bar graph then i would be having horizontal bar graph for uh, line graph again simple line graph single multiple and then pie chart and then you people will have uh, any kind of any image from here and there that will also be there 
um, and if you will cram one template for all these things you will get confused in exam because you have prepared the template for bar chart line chart and pie chart but in exam you got most of the diagrams and there at that time your tongue will slip whether I have to use that word bar chart and if your mind knows this thing that in front of you some scientific diagram is there how can you speak the word bar chart and if you will speak and unknowingly you are speaking the given bar chart and then you will see no 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 this is not bar chart the given diagram what you are doing you will fumble and when you will fumble fluency goes down and let me tell you one thing if your fluency will not be there now forget about this thing that software will give you the score for content pronunciation because pronunciation score is totally dependent on fluency and content score is totally dependent on your pronunciation sometimes some people have the habit to speak in chunks for describe image so many types of images how can we fit one template for all to speak like this let me tell you this is not fluency though I am speaking without stucking anywhere but I am taking unnecessary pauses and if you will speak in this way score will automatically be low not only low so low very low I would say and for summarize written text and essays you people will get every time different kind of text in summarize written text and different essay then how would you say the thing that I'm going to use already formatted words don't I need the score of reading from summarize written text and no doubt in the essay only and only you people get the score for uh, um, writing only I will explain this thing further and for reader lecture and SST basically you need keywords and that's why you need to add some currents there you can use the templates but not in describe image summarize written text a big no in summarize written text if an exam uh, you get blank for summarize written text and you think that I have used one them I have learned one template start writing it without using the template for summarize written text kindly go for the lines which are already present in the text at least you people would be capturing ma maximum words from the text and that would somehow it may increase your reading score and for essay I would say uh, yes because I have to prepare the for the worst things also for example uh, in essay you get the prompt like you have never read it before then I'm blank I didn't understand okay let's uh, I'm going to speak two words are you people aware of those words and uh, will you be able to write uh, 200 10 20 30 words on those words word is blood sports blood sports which are the blood sports we all will get blind then and we will think that all the sports from where a person may get injured yes but in all those sports every time you will never you will not get blood yes someone has answered bull racing yes then how would I stretch so many words for this bull racing blood sports and all the things because there this is not uh, maybe uh, in the few next few words of the prompt the words will be like do you agree for this or do you you will not agree for this and in that case as your mind will work less definitely what will happen 
you will take more time to write and you will not be able to cross 200 words and if i'll be writing less words directly minus one will be there deduction of one score so that's why for worst things prepare one good template this is the just uh, as i said for summary written text you people need the score for writing as well as reading and i have to choose um, if i choose less keywords because i'm writing more and more about template i have seen one template is very famous starting with the word whereas whereas the unique features of something i i'm not uh, uh, i haven't learned that template just seen people um, they are sending them can i use this template i simply say no you should not because my main uh, purpose is to tell you people the correct way if i say yes then your reading score will be less because software will find maximum it will actually scan your each and every word which you will be going to write in some resurrected text each and every word it will scan we people think that let's make uh, the software fool but software is not fool you can make the software fool only and only in describe images because there you people are getting the only and only speaking score nothing else but here in summary is written text a big amount of score will be there that you will be getting for reading i have uh, seen so many observed so many uh, score reports where people are getting all enabling skills very high and listening is 80 plus speaking is 90 out of 90 writing is also 90 but reading score is say um, 77 76 78 and i uh, immediately say your summarized written text is the problem why so because your enabling skills are telling me there is no problem in your writing and your writing score itself if it is 90 out of 90 it means your reading writing blanks were gone very perfect otherwise if reading writing blanks will be the culprit would have been the culprit then your reading writing score will never reach 90 it means and your pronunciation as i said enabling skills are so high pronunciation is also fine more than 70 that will be okay not will be okay that will be the perfect score i would say for uh, pronunciation the main problem is there in content then content of which task from where you are getting reading score your summarized written text so be careful whenever you are using template and uh, summarized written text your li li listening uh, reading score will be less and for essay as i said before i explain these things i want to uh, tell you the people this thing that how your essay you people get to score for essays see software is not having any answer for essays for summarized written text for uh, describe images for detailed lecture for summarized spoken text that's why people say that for these tasks start using templates but let me tell you that is a software it has some already set rules and if we will not follow those rules and if we will not be working on those rules score will be less now let me explain you the thing how you people will be getting the score for essays and similarly for other tasks suppose you got one prompt say blood sports uh, after that all the words which are related to the word blood sports there will be one 
list of words in the software already. All the words related to software, all the antonyms, synonyms, collocations, examples, everything will be there in that list. And when your four paragraphs will be there, and software is going to give you the score for writing. Your words will start getting highlighted in your written response. Only those words will be highlighted if they will match with the words which are already there in the software in that list the more words will will be highlighted the more score you will be getting for content and if definitely it is not like if you're one word blood sports you think that i have written the word from the prompt blood sports Two words are there and again and again you will be using blood sports blood sports or somehow you will be using some words two three words more or say ten words more related to blood words blood sports in your content software is not mad again they have set one rule for their now what is that rule rule is they have set this thing for essays, if a person will be using more than 50, 60 words, if a person in your written response, if more than 50, I'm just taking one example, not saying as per uh, the software, because I don't know what is their limit, what is their range. 50, 60 words will be highlighted, only then you get the this particular score for content because maximum score that you people will get from content is three maybe for 50 words they have set one mark and for 100 words they have set two marks and for uh, say um, 150 words or less than 150 120 words 130 words you will get three out of three score in content This is the way how software gives you the score for those tasks from where you people are getting, where uh, the software is not having its answers. So never you cannot make software fool. That is the reason, as I said, if you are, your 50 words will be highlighted, then you will be getting the score of content equal to one. I have seen so many score reports where written discourse is 10. How the written discourse will be 10? It means definitely that person is writing in such a way that his words, his or her words are not being highlighted because he is not writing those many keywords related to the prompt. And if it will not be there, definitely, as I wrote here, content score will be suffered. And if your content score would suffer, you will have definitely low written discourse. And let me tell you one thing more here. It is clearly written in the PT score guide. You can download it from Google and you can see that flowchart on first few pages it is made. If your content score will be zero, then software will not check other enabling skills, means total score will be zero in that task. That's why written discourse will be 10. And that is the reason in uh, summarized written text also, because written discourse is the combination of all the Content score that you will be getting from summarized written text, essays, and summarized spoken text. And if you are not using uh, keywords from the text, from the prompt and essays, 
from the text in summarized written text and from the lecture in summarized spoken text, then your written discourse would suffer. Because software will not going to give you the score for the rest of the things, whatever you have written. Whether you have written so many high vocabulary words, it will not check it. Total score will be zero. This is the template for retail lecture. I'm not saying this thing that you people have to follow each and every line for uh, this of this template. No, you can manage it by yourself. Why I have added so many lines? Because I always prepare the things for the worst. And for when worst things will be there in front of me, then from my side, I would show 100%. And how would I uh, show that 100% when I'm fully prepared? If I have learned this template till here, now I'm going to speak it. The speaker provide a brief information about the given lecture. I'm just not going to fill the, the words, okay? Firstly, he utilized a significant amount of time dealing on several key topics such as blah, blah, blah. To recap his detailed analysis, he mentioned some major points, blah, blah. He talked about the thing. In how many seconds I was able to speak it? Hardly more than 10 seconds. More than 10 seconds, say 12, 13 seconds. Even I think I spoke fast. <laughs> then score will be automatically less. That's why I said I always prepare myself and I, I will always prepare my students for worst things also. So from your side uh, and this template, you people will get in PD Tutorials Telegram group. Many times it is shared by me and some other tutors and you will find it uh, in the shared media of that group. This is the template for SST and is the best template ever as per my uh, persuasiveness. Yes, what I feel this thing, this is the best template. Why I'm saying this thing? Though this template is having, say, uh, around about uh, 40, 35 to 40 words. But why I'm saying this template is good for even 79 plus. Whatever I'm telling today, I'm uh, teaching today, is uh, my aim is to get 79 plus. Okay. In that case, as I said, the best ever template. Why so? This template is having some good vocabulary words, just like explicit summary, encapsulates, demonstrated, brief information, furthermore, one connector is there, delineated, therefore, after considering all the substantial ideas of the lecture, it can be said that blah, blah, blah. Then, as I said, this template is having more than 35 words, 30, 35 words. Then, I'm supposed to write more than 65 words. Then, why would I um, write so many words in my lecture? in my summarized spoken text. Let me tell you one thing. Um, I'm not saying use each and every line and word from um, this template. Okay, you may use some words from it. I'm not saying full fledged lines, some words. As I said, I always prepare myself for the worst things. It means what if, if I got 35 second audio in exam and SST, definitely I will be jotting down so less words. And when less keywords will be there, 
how to fulfill the condition of form form means you are writing more than 50 and less than 70 in summary spoken text and if you will not fulfill this condition say i was able to write only 40 words then if form will be zero your total score will be zero in that task sometimes because of the bad audios we are not able to uh, jot down maximum keywords and if i'm i haven't prepared one good summarized spoken text template then in that case i would not reach the word count minimum word count that is 50 words suppose i wrote 40 words in that case form will be zero and when form will be zero again just like the content case again it is written in pd score guide form is zero total score will be zero software will not check it further that's why always prepare yourself for the worst things and for 79 plus you may write like uh, the given summary or the brief and explicit summary encapsulates blah blah some group of keywords i need here i don't i have that's why i didn't write their keyword one keyword two i need bunch of keywords in each and every blank definitely for next few words as i need the coherence how would i write that coherence by writing these kind of words it has been demonstrated that rather to write it has been said that or he said that okay one person wrote he said that this other person wrote it has been demonstrated that and you people are getting the score for vocabulary also just tell me if it is manual checking teacher will give which person the good score the more score of course to the that person who has written it has been demonstrated because you are getting the score of vocabulary also no next the speaker also gave brief information about blank again i need group of words furthermore it was also delineated you can deduct the word furthermore from here i'm not saying rewrite the full-fledged line even i'm not saying write uh, the full line the speaker also gave brief information about cut the word the speaker also gave the brief information on this was delineated in the lecture this was put your keywords then therefore or hence whatever you can use uh, after considering all substantial ideas of the lecture this is again so many words are already there therefore it can be said that next your keywords therefore your couple of keywords in after therefore don't forget to put a comma grammar is important in summary spoken text therefore couple of keywords then from the lecture that you have already uh, written on your notepad therefore blah 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 uh, then you can write it like was also yeah or uh, it was said that write it in this way or these many ideas not only ideas these many substantial ideas were concluded from the lecture these many means you are writing some key words from the lecture write it in passive form it will give you the good score i did the same thing in my real exam now a little bit small task for you people now the main problem is i have seen people uh, even as i uh, after this lecture you all will start using these templates but we don't know how to fill the keywords in that template because we have uh, we have learned only one thing keyword means this thing that you people will write after this uh, sound i'm going to play here my request is to start writing the keywords on your copies giving you 10 20 seconds to take out the copies now i'm going to play the audio Listen to it carefully. 
Okay, and after that, just assume that this audio is for both retail lecture and for some rest spoken text. Have you ever noticed yourself twitching just before falling asleep? Well, here is what it means. Scientists call this phenomenon the hypnic twitch. While it was described differently by numerous people, common descriptions include the feeling of falling. Supposing that you experience this phenomenon, it is recommended that you do not consume any caffeine before going to bed. It is also a common side effect of drugs such as Ritalin and Adderall. It's most common in people that are extremely exhausted and finally make it to their bed. It's when you fall asleep too fast and the brain can't keep up with the phases of sleeping. It responds by jolting you awake with a burst of chemicals, one that the brain might interpret, and then build a dream designed to wake you up, which is the basic premise behind the theory of the hypnic jerk. But on rare occasions, when the body is really exhausted the brain will process stages of sleep too quickly confusing itself into thinking that the body and its major systems are failing. When our brain gets confused it essentially restarts, and it shocks you awake with a burst of chemicals. This isn't mainly bad for you, but it definitely isn't fun to experience it. If you like our video, please give us the... This is the transcript of the lecture. I hope you people have jotted down some words. I have highlighted in red color some of the words. Maybe uh, you people have also heard those words and you people have written on these on your copies, just like the words chemicals, interpret, extremely exhausted, caffeine, consume, recommended, phenomenon, numerous people falling asleep, hypnic twitch, jolting, rare occasions, confused, experience, restarts, shots, and you will start using them. This is the wrong method. Rather, you should have to write in group of words. If you will start writing in or start speaking in this way, just uh, somehow in from one line of the speaker, you are writing one verb, in the other line, you are writing one subject. In the other line, you are writing one object. And sometimes on the helping verb you are writing, it is kind of, it is recommended. What? See, software understands each and everything. It can easily find your mistakes. That you haven't made your sentence in the good, good structure. Because you get the score of development coherence and structure. So be careful, you should not use only and only keywords by keywords. Rather, you need to focus on group of keywords, just like this. As phenomenon, start from here, phenomenon of hypnic twitch. We experience different uh, people experience this thing as you wrote and wrote the word numerous people after that many people have experienced this phenomenon hypnic twitch means the jolting sometimes uh, we are very tired we are very exhausted knackered and then we want if we lie on the bed immediately uh, we fall into sleep and then a little bit of jolt will be there you will suddenly get up and then again will sleep. It means your body tends to sleep, but your mind is not. Always our mind will take few minutes to sleep, to shut down all the buttons and the, of your body from your head to toe. The lecture was about that thing. Don't write like only brain. Write like this, fall asleep too fast and the brain can't keep up the phases. I'm not saying, Right, you cannot capture all the words. Don't write like chemicals only. Just here, uh, as I was able to see, some word, well, phases of sleeping. Try to capture, not word, group of words, phrases. If you will write phases of sleeping, you will get good score for content. For this, I want to give you one 
uh, tip suppose lecture is going on i have seen people very rare cases will be there when you will not be able to capture many words but in most of the cases we are able to understand what they are saying but we are not able to jot down the words and if we are jotting down the words we are writing less i'm writing two words one word three word only from one line what the speaker said try to follow this strategy suppose speaker is speaking the first line and you are able to capture most of the words from that line but your mind is to write next words what the speaker is saying so in that case what will you, you people will do whether from that line that you have heard properly you are able to write five words but you write three words because your mind is on to what the speaker is saying next if you have captured one full fledged line and out of that line you are able to write five words write those five words just like the doctors write in bad handwriting but do write five words forget about what the speaker is saying next what will happen and after that when you are on the fifth word after that whatever the speaker is saying now start writing that again now you have heard full fledged line next five words six words maybe maybe four words or maybe more than six words and if in this case you will practice software uh, speaker is not going to speak only and only five six lines full fledged if one minute lecture is there like here so many lines are there what will happen you will be capturing the keywords from first line third line fifth line seventh all the odd numbers not odd numbered lines but in that case you would have good amount of keywords written on the notepad and you will be able to get good score of content try to do this thing this was all about from my side uh, let's check what your queries are i hope lecture is clear someone rakesh is asking do we need to find the synonyms or it is recommended to use same keywords no go for the same keywords otherwise after will deduct the score because sometimes we are not able uh, suppose the meaning of exist the meaning of uh, uh, available is same but the usage is different i cannot use the word exist at the place of available okay so that is really very important to know someone is asking how would we prepare templates for describe image for summarize written text for essays uh, for summarize written text always a big no to summarize written text template always whether you are seeking for 65 each 50 each or 79 each because sometimes see in summarize written text you will always be able to see the screen uh, means text will always be there you just need to pick up the keywords and have to make the story okay but for uh, other uh, tasks like uh, there you will have you will not have the audio just take the example of this thing suppose my score uh, and my aim is 65 each can i rely fully myself or uh, that i will be doing so perfect in reading writing blanks in reading fill in the blanks no one can give you the assurity because we are not able to know what kind of blanks or paragraphs we will be getting in the exam okay from our side no doubt we have prepared fully but no we are not aware now what uh, we will get in our, uh, in our exam so in that case what thing will save you in reading summarized written text can save you and if you got three summarized written text just imagine how much score you will be getting for reading 
a big amount of score you will be getting from three summarized written text i have seen people who have gotten four summarized written text and just imagine uh, if you collect the score of reading from some four summarized written text how much score you will be getting for reading that's why here in this task this is the i would say this is the easiest task rather full fledged text is there in front of you you just need to pick up the key words noun adjectives good form of verbs replace the good form of verbs by some synonyms but important synonyms synonyms which you can fit there and start writing for describe images whatever is there cook up a story talk about the colors shapes the fit, uh, picture uh, because content doesn't matter you just have to speak for 20 seconds means half of the bar and if you are going to prepare yourself for each and every kind of uh, uh, describe image it would be hard for you to speak with fluency sari putra is asking do we go with the our natural flow um, rather than using a template i would say that will be the best thing that you can do from your side in read a lecture see as i in the initial part of the lecture i said even if from your side you are saying you are not using template but i need the coherence now to uh, frame my next few words my next sentence i will be speaking like after that he uh, he was talking about he was giving the detail of this thing and all this is what actually this is the template template is nothing just as it is adding the coherence into your speech and into your writing that's it ganendra is asking is it ne necessary to use template for essay for 79 plus if you are aware of the prompt don't use template and for this thing if you want to uh, know how to write a good essay subscribe for youtube channel of pt tutorials there you will find two videos on uh, how to write a perfect pte essay two parts are there maybe 30 35 minutes of one part will be there and watch the both two videos it will help you to write the perfect eight band essay in the second part of the video it is being uh, discussed that uh, uh, how you have to frame your sentences and if i'm writing this way you will get less score and if i will write the same line in some other way i will get eight band means the highest score and for this thing more not only watch uh, essay video also uh, watch the video on coherence um, cohesion coherence and all the things it is also there uh, this was also few days back i have given the webinar on this thing cohesion and coherence written the scores what is that it will help you to write a good line which will give you the good score okay fine now i'm going to end this meeting i hope this lecture was fruitful for you people thank you so much for joining the webinar